Democrats are moving forward with a plan to subpoena the entire Mueller report. As Attorney General William Barr appears likely to miss tomorrow's deadline, which Democrats set, to release it to Congress. He says he plans to send lawmakers a redacted version in the coming weeks. This is Republicans are shifting their focus now to investigating Obama-era officials' actions during the 2016 election. They say they want to talk with FBI Director James Comey, ex-Attorney General Loretta Lynch, former CIA Director John Brennan, and ex-FBI officials Peter Strzok and Lisa Page. I want to bring in now Republican Congressman Devin Nunez of California, ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee. Good to see you today, Congressman. Great uh, to be with you, Harris. Let's talk about how big a fight this potentially could be. Do you see Democrats getting an unredacted version of the Mueller report? I highly doubt it if there's grand jury testimony in there. But remember, I was actually the first member of Congress to say that we not only need the Mueller report, which I actually call the Mueller dossier because I think it's written by partisans and I don't think there's a lot in there. But what I am interested in learning is, is how exactly did Mueller's team create this report? Because we know he had a lot of partisan actors in there. So I want to see the underlying information. I want to see the interviews that they did. I want to see who they subpoenaed. I want to see if they had any wiretaps because we know that these cast of characters, two were kicked off early, we've already caught them of taking exculpatory evidence against Americans and leaving it on the cutting board floor. So we really do want to see not just the report, but the underlying information. You know, as American people look at this, uh, there has been at least some thought that William Barr always has promised that he would do what he could per rules and regs. Has any of that changed? No, I think the attorney general wants to do anything and everything he can. I think full transparency is in order. And I just want to make sure that, that everyone understands what full transparency means. So the Democrats on the left here, they mm -hmm. just want to get their hands on the report so that then they, that'll probably be classified, there'll be a lot of classified information in there so that they can leak it. So they can leak it to all their buddies in the media so that they can continue on going down rabbit holes of pretending that there was some kind of Russian collusion. Here's what... Well, I a, a new Washington poll shows 51% of voters want Democrats to stop investigating whether Trump obstructed justice. That's compared with 47% who want them to continue. Everything's seen through a political prism right now. Yeah. My question for you is, can you move on from this issue? And if that polling helps? Well, we'd love to move on from the issue. However, you know, we are going to make criminal referrals. OK, the House Republicans, we've been doing mm -hmm. an investigation for over two years. Uh, I wish this was over, too. I wish we never had to go through what is really three years of using our counterintelligence capabilities against a political campaign. So I, I agree, though, it's going to be very hard. Uh, the fact that they ever looked at obstruction of justice because Comey got mad and went and leaked his papers uh, out to the media and a legal leak, by the way, taking FBI documents. Uh, just because that happened, there should, there, when there was no crime to begin with, how are you going to go after obstruction of justice? It's, it's pretty silly. But I do agree the American people are split, and that's why full transparency yeah. is in order, which means we need to know everything that went into Mueller's dossier. We really need to know how they got that information. And, and you've already said you would support and, and you've pushed for seeing all of it with the Mueller report as per what can be released. Republicans are looking to shift the focus, though, investigating the investigators. Uh, and we have them up on the screen here. These are Obama-era officials. Do you see that look back as being politically risky at all? Well, it should be no uh, surprise to anyone who's out there who's followed the work that the House Republicans have been doing on the Intelligence Committee. Uh, we were the first to come out and say that something was really wrong here, something stunk. Uh, we now know for sure that they used the counterintelligence services to target a political campaign. Uh, they told us that it happened in late July of 2016. We believe it happened much earlier than that. So uh, it's a, not a matter of, of politics here. This is a matter of whether or not people broke the law, whether or not they actually lied to the FISA court, whether or not they didn't give Congress all the information obstructed justice, whether or not they leaked classified information. So, uh, look, these people need to be held accountable. We will make our criminal referral and we'll see what the Department of Justice does with it. Ranking Member Nunez, thank you very much. Good to have you on Thanks, the program Harris. today.